So, hi guys, uh, we are now live for day three. Um, so, yes, we are just alive here now. Josh had to run up, he says, and get his Fitbit to make sure that he gets his steps in. So, um, the only good thing about being off school is now hitting around, they had 20,000 the other day and he had 18,000 steps. 19,000, 19, sorry, 19,000 as well. So, at least he's getting the school work done in the morning and he's keeping active. And uh, I think as a parent anyway, he's, uh, his behaviour is very good too <laughs> from it. <laughs> so, get them active and uh, we'll see a change too and everything. So, uh, today's workout, what we're going to do, we are going to do our flow again. So we're going to include our wee cat and we're going to do a boat race as well. So we'll do the flow of the boat race. Then we're going to paint with our feet. So we're going to do directional awareness. Our fundamental move skill for today is going to be throwing and catching. And with that we're going to play a game as well called hangman catch. And then our movement is going to be a hinge. So we're going to work on the hinge today. We'll do our workout then with the hinge in it. And then we'll finish on our meditation. And today's theme too is kindness. Okay, so I think that's kind of us. Let's see, we're getting a few more viewers going. Guys, please comment away to see if you um, are enjoying the workouts. Let us know if you would like anything included. Um, we have Dan, Grace, Tom, and baby James is all rolling around. So that's our, my nieces and nephews. So that's great to see. Tracy has them. Um, ready to rock and roll. So again, this is kind of from everybody. Josh, um, a wee bit older than, than those guys, but it's gonna we're gonna try and adapt it so the whole family can can get involved. So we're getting our numbers right up here. We're getting the viewers going. How's everybody doing out there? Give us a wave, wave back if you can. If anybody too is getting it on their big screen or if they're able to take pictures or videos of your kids doing it, let us share. Let's get it this positivity. Um, parents as well another thing we if you sign up online or if you go to our facebook page and our instagram there's a link to sign up to our mailing list and in the mailing list we will give away our free core kids checklist and our free certificate so you get our core kids checklist and our certificate and we can go you can go through it so if you can print it off or if you have it at home or you can you can write it out whatever it is um, but let's just get a bit of positivity back in here get a bit of routine as well. So I think we're well up now, Josh. We're gonna get ready to rock and roll. So, let's get going. So, we'll start off and we'll do our flow, guys. So we'll get into our robot bodies. So, all you do is turn your head first with your robot head to the side and the other side. Good work. And then who can move that head up and down. Up and down. Super. Releasing all that, let those shoulders go nice and loose. Get the hands up. Now, big, big chest. Who can turn their head to the side? Then rotate your body nice and slow and controlled. Well done. Remember, your feet are stuck to the floor. Keep moving side to side. Good. Super well done. Now, let's roll the top of the chin in. Roll the shoulders in, let's go slowly down the legs now, slowly right down, and right, right, right down. And then reaching right up, reach right back, reach right back, reach right back, good. And then back down again, tuck that shin in. Remember this time when it comes into your knees, pull the shoulders back, big chest. Super, and reach right up, excellent. And let's go down now into our snake. So walking our hands out. Again, making that noise of snake. <laughs> so snake, snake. And then back into your uh, mice. So we've got our mice going on. That's fine. And then we're gonna go back into our snake. So snake. And then from our snake into our big dog. So big dog. Uh, give your elbow to your dog. You can give the elbow to the other dog, the other side if there's one. <laughs> Good, keep breathing. Super. Back into our snake. So, and then from our snake, back into your dog. And then, you dog, you go to the toilet. This thing, can we reach your leg over across our body a little bit more, keeping it really straight and long in the air? Really straight and long in the air. Good. And then swap that over, lift that leg up. Straight and long. 
is there. Excellent. Now you just come down onto the knees this time. So we're down on the knees. So this is our happy cat, sad cat. So we're going to do now is this is going to be our happy cat. So lift your head up. A uh, nice big arch here in the, in your back. So if you look at me here sideways, so nice big arch here in your back. And what we're going to do is going to be happy cat, but then we're going to go into our sad cat. So we're going to pop the chin in, lift the shoulders up, and come back into your happy cat. Big smile, smiles. Look all around, happy cats. Look over your shoulders. Look at everybody around. And then come back up into your sad cat. We'll do one more set. Back up, happy cat. So, meow, meow. Now make a cat noise now. Okay. And then just going side to side. And then up, lift the shoulders up. Super. Now, we're going to have a little bit of a boat race today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sit down on our bums. Okay. That'll be fine. Okay, so we're on our bums here. All right, and all we're going to do, we're going to try and rock side to side. Okay, if you want, Josh, you can get the mat. Yeah. Okay, so that's just thinking the, the grass is a bit wet. So when we're waiting on Josh here, who can hold their boat and just move side to side? Come over here to the side here, Josh. And then you're in, in both. Look, super. Good. So getting our mat down. Yeah. And now all we're going to do now is I want you to try now with your boat whenever we get Josh settled here now. Super. So with your boat now, who can lift one leg up? Who can lift the other leg up? Who can take one hand, grab your rower? Other hand, grab your rower? And we're going to do a rower boat by bringing your legs in and out. So don't let your feet touch the floor. Who can keep going? Let's see you can go for 10. Let's have a race. Go. One. Go on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Two. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Super. Right. Incredibly oh. hard. Incredibly hard. Super. Right. Up we get now. This time, what we're going to do, we'll give this over here a little bit. We'll leave this for our meditation at the end. We are now going to do a little bit of painting with our feet. So I want everybody at home to pretend they paint. Put paint the bottom of their feet or the bottom of their shoes. <laughs> Don't actually put, Josh says, you're going to put a pain on the feet. Don't actually, it's pretend, okay? So, what I'm going to do now, this is to help with directional awareness. So, how we move. What I'm going to ask you now, with paint on your feet, I want you to take the first letter of your name. So, try and take the first letter of your name, and I want you to spell it out using your feet. So what? So mine's is G. Josh's is J, so mine's is G. So I'm gonna do a big G. I'm back over here. Alright? So G. Alright, so let's see now who can do try it again. The first letter of your name and go Josh. Good. Super. Good. Now who can do the number four? So paint your feet number four. Make the number four. Move the feet nice and quick. Good. Super. Right. Maybe parents can help with this one. Mad question. We're gonna do, you have to answer, you have to paint the answer, and then when you're done, call out the answer, okay? So the first question is three plus four. Paint it out, paint it out, three plus four. Good, and then call Seven. out. Good, okay. Right, we'll go one more, okay? So a wee bit harder for some of them, okay? So, Eight minus four. Eight minus four. 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 Good. Well done. So right like this time, I want you now, using your feet, to draw a house. And I want oh, four windows on it and one door. So draw a house. Where you go? Chimney and everything. Yeah, roof. Go. Move your feet. Move your feet. So moving the whole way around. Get your feet going, get your feet going. Draw your windows as well. Oh, I love that. Chimney and all on, Josh, too. Draw your windows as well. Draw your windows, window over the other side, too, can you, as well? Love that. What's that for? Good, 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 good. And then come back and even do, what about your door, your door? <laughs> good. Five running. seconds, come on, get those dick of those houses done. Ah, oh, well done. Wait, Freeze. shed. All right, put the shed on, <laughs> love it. Good. So, well warmed up now at this stage. So, we're going to now go into our... Uh, fundamental movement skill or today which is throwing and catching now 
If you don't already, I should have said this is the start. Um, I'll give you a bit of time. Or if you can get your hands on a ball, a pair of socks, or a tea towel. Uh, we did post it up on our Facebook page, but I forgot to mention at the start. So if you can get any of those, a ball, a towel, a pair of socks. Um, and we have a few of them here. So we have a few of these here. So uh, a ball, so just a small ball. We have a pair of socks and a towel. Now the reason we have this, some people might not have a ball. You can very easily use a pair of socks. And a tea towel is very good if you're finding it difficult to catch either of these two. So all I want you to do is when you're waiting, so whoever's in the house, I just want you to explore different ways of throwing and catching. So we'll use the ball first. So I might use, throw it like this. Good, just say we are, just say we are, perfect. So I just go in one hand, good. Go underneath like that, good. Good, I might try bounce, super. Try another way, on the leg, good. Ah, nice, maybe bounce it on the leg. Good, so I want you now to try, and as well, if you have something else, pick up a different object, and now you ready, start throwing again. So see how that goes, good, good. See, can you catch it, super, super. Here's another one. <laughs> ah, good. Here we go again, here we go again. Super, go. Ah, nearly, nearly, good. And especially, keep trying that, guys. Keep coming up with loads of different ways. Even now you start counting how many times you can catch it because we're going to turn this into a game. So keep practicing at home, grabs on. If you're finding it difficult to catch, we're going to use a tea towel now this time. So Josh, we just even stand here so everybody can see then. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it up and it takes a wee bit longer to fall down so I can track it. Oh, oh yeah. there you go. Hey, okay. Maybe scrumple it up on a ball and then just throwing it up. Good. And what we want to try and do is see who can keep an eye on it whenever it's up. So even if I throw it up in the air, can you keep your eye on it, Josh? Good. So throw, scrub it up, throw it up for me in the air. Wow, oh, you know what's going to happen. Good. So you just threw it over the fence. It's fine. <laughs> so um, you can use your towel as well. We're going to obviously now going to have to stick with our ball for the next bit. So you can use your tea towel. You can use whatever you want. Try and work on different ways of throwing and catching. The game we're going to play now is called Hang Man Throw and Catch. Here's the rules, okay? So me and Josh are going to throw to each other. Okay, so you can stay over here. Just stay over here. Okay. All right, so Josh is going to be over here. He needs a mat. He thinks the ground's too wet. It is. Okay, it is. Right, we're ready? So all we're going to do here now is we're going to play a game of Hang Man Catch and Throw. When I throw it, Whenever you drop it, you lose a life. Your first life is a leg, so you lose a leg. Your next life is you lose an arm. Your next life after that is you lose two legs. After that, you close one eye, and then after that, I'll give you one go, one last go, is you close both eyes, okay? So you're trying, well, I'll try, hopefully try and keep our mouth closed each day, okay? So, we're ready, so we're going to try now and see how we get on with it. So ready, we go. Throwing it. Good. 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 Ah, all right. So try and catch it first each time, but I already lost a life. So I'll lose a life, so I'm on one leg now. Okay? So good. So watch that one. Ah, you didn't catch it on one leg. You hit it. You didn't catch it. You have to catch it. Ready? Good, go. Oh, <laughs> keep your balance. Well done. Good, 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 good. Ah, oh, you drop that foot down, you lose another life. Come on, don't be using the fence. Let's go. Keep your balance. Good. Good, good. Okay, if I dropped it again, I will lose now an arm. So an arm and a leg now. You ready, Jess? You ready? So keep playing at home. Keep playing. If you've, if you've already completed it, just start again. You all right? Ah, your foot hit the ground. Lose an arm. Lose an arm behind your back. Ah, oh, I dropped it. And then on the two knees now, two knees and one arm. So two knees, one arm. Okay. Yeah, it's a good point. Ah, you oh. both arms down on the two knees as well. And on the two knees. Let's go. Ah, per ah. Bad throw, close your eyes. <laughs> one eye, so one eye, Josh, play one eye. Ah, no. That was a bird off throw, but then we'll try it here. Okay. We're ready, let's see. Okay, ready? Ah, good. Can you go both eyes closed? 
Try it. Wait, one with your both eyes closed. Try and see. Can you time it? Ready? I'm going to tell you when I throw it. Ready? Okay, ladies, two eyes. Three, two, one, throw. Ah, lucky. Okay, so, well done. Up we go. Now, okay. Gabe. It's a game that you can now, hopefully you're getting on well with that. You're playing it, having a little bit of fun. Throwing your tea towel, throwing your socks, throwing your ball. And something maybe, when we're finished here at the end, we can practice that again. So, if you are nearly finished the game now, you can nearly start finishing up. Um, and Or you can just still listen, because now we're going to go into our next um, exercise today, which is the hinge. So a hinge... It's a brilliant exercise and it's used for a lot of stuff. So if we're getting ready to jump, we'll hinge. If we're playing any sports, we'll need a hinge as well. So how we're going to teach the hinge is if I do it sideways, Josh, you can stay keep it the same way if you want. Or we can do it like this. What we're going to try and do is I'm going to push my bum back as if I'm closing a car door. So push my bum back and back up. Push my bum back and back up. And back, yeah, and back up. Now, if I ask you doing it there, Josh, where did you feel it? Do you want to try it again? In the top of my head. Good. So you're feeling it here in your hamstrings, to so the back of your leg. So try it again there, Josh, for me. Good. Now we can soften our knees. So nice soft knees. Straight. Put your legs straight. Put your knees soft. Bend your knees. Legs straight. Knees soft. Bend your knees. Good. Yeah. Now, so this time, I only want you to do. Soft knees. So soft knees. Now push your bum back and hinge. Ooh. Excellent. Yeah, you feel that? <laughs> Good. So that's our hinge. I want you now to practice it either against um, a wall, your sofa, or you can use a partner. So if Josh is against the fence here now, and hopefully I think both of this one I don't think you can see as well. So I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Okay. So Josh now is against the fence. So Josh, if you come over here. Okay. Right. Now, what I want you to do is see, can you reach back to the fence, keeping your toes on the ground as well. Your toes can't come off the ground. If you can't make it, take a step back in. And come back up. Good. And go again. Push. And back up. Trying to keep those toes. Don't let those toes lift. Good. Back up. Remember one thing, soft knees. There you go. Super. And back up. Soft knees. And touch. Let's see if you can get five of those now. Feel it in the back of the hamstrings. Nice. Good. Super. Excellent. And that is our hinge. Okay. So we're going to be using that in part of our workout. All right. So on our workout, the first exercise we can do is our hinge. Okay. So we'll do our hinge and we're going to try as well. I'm going to introduce you to Superman. So two options for the first one. You can go into your hinge. Okay, or as Josh is doing here, our Superman. So quite hard because we're balancing on one foot and we're going to reach forward and back up. Good, if we can turn this way, Josh, so you're facing everybody here so everybody can see then. So right up and then reach forward like so. So that's our Superman. So you can do a Superman or a hinge. The next exercise, okay, is going to be our lateral lunge. So you're gonna step to the side Feet together and step to the side. So you just try it now. Feet together and step to the side. And feet together and step to the side. And feet together and step to the side. Super. Now watch this one. So just give me your hand here now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to feel sideways. And what we're going to do is just, I want, I'm going to pull your arm. You're going to try and stop it a little bit just. But I'm going to pull towards me and then you pull my arm. Good. And we're going to keep our feet nice stuck. Not going to try and turn our shoulders. The shoulders are going to be strong and straight. So pull now. Pull. Go pull. Go pull a little bit. Good. Now hold mine tight. Don't, don't let me pull it in. Good. Just a tiny bit. Good. Go again. We're we really strong. Now turn our shoulders. Good. So we can try that. Another one then too. We're going to do Spider-Man planks. So hands on the floor. Okay. So Josh, get your hands on the floor. Okay. And we're going to bring our knee, our, our knee up to our elbow. So can you try that? No. So knee, just give it one go and see. Don't let your foot touch the ground when you do it. So don't let the foot touch the ground and just keep coming to the same side, same elbow. Super. All right. So last one then is going to be 
knees to elbow. So we're, now we're doing a bit of work across the midline. So it's right knee, right elbow, left knee. Good, so opposite. So we're doing opposite, 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 opposite. And then if we can, can we get a step in as well? Good, okay, super. So let's get it. We're gonna go for a hinge or a superman, or lateral long lunge, or arm push and pull, Spider-Man planks, and knees to elbow. So we're ready to go. So first one is I'm gonna do the hinge. Josh is gonna do the superman. We're gonna go for 10, okay? It's five each side for Josh, 10 for me. All right, ready, and go. So hinge, Josh to superman, one. Good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well done, swap over, good. Nine, and 10, now lateral lunge. So you can step in front of here, Josh, so. Ready, feet together and step to the side. And feet together again and step to the side. Good, I'll step this way, Josh. And good, and step. Good, and step. Good, take your time, bring your feet together again. Good, take your time, good. We're gonna go for five more. So four, three, two, and one. Well done, so arm push, pull now. We're gonna go for five, okay? Five each side, ready? And go, good, one, two, three, four, five. Well done, other hand. Ready, go. And one, two, three, four, and five, good. Let's see, can we go on the floor now? And we're gonna do okay. Spider-Man planks. Okay. So, hands on the floor, even if you find this difficult, just hold the plank. So I'm gonna go over 10, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good guys, eight, nine, and 10. Last one. So elbow to knees, let's go for 20. So that's 10 each side, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, go, Josh. 60, 70, 80, 19, 20. Well done. So let's go again. We're back in their second set. Okay? You all right? When you hit your elbow and you hang, you just be careful. But we're not trying to elbow ourselves in the leg. We ready, Josh? So we're going to go, go Supermans. You're going to take a rest. So Supermans, and I'm going to hinge. Let's go for 10. Take your time. One, two. We'll go with the same pace. Three, four, Five. You slow it down and we'll go eight. Good. Nine and ten. Now we're gonna go lateral lunge, okay? So you stand in front, Josh. We're ready. You go to you go to your, your side first, okay? okay? Ready? And go. So one, two, three, four, good, five, six, give you going all the way, seven. <laughs> And eight, and nine, and ten. Well done. Arm push pull. Are we ready? No. Ready? Let's go again. Ready? And go. So one, two, three, four. Gently. Five. Good. Ready? And go. So go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Okay. So in there, Spider Man planks now. No. So hands down. You can hold your plank. Okay. We're ready. And we're gonna go with our elbow to our, our knee to our elbow. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Twenty now. Elbows to knees. Ready? Be careful now, we don't hurt ourselves this time. And go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Keep going, Josh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get those elbows up. Eighteen. Good. Nineteen. Twenty. Good. All right. Well done. Well done. Okay. So, I think today we'll push one more in. Okay. So we're going to try for one more. All right. Now, 
We're gonna try and keep positive night this time, alright? No. Okay, but let's see if we smile, alright? No. Smile, just see if we smile first. Smile, everybody watching. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with Josh Superman's I'll hinge. Alright, so we'll do it together. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go. So one, two, take your time. Three, four, five. Good. Swap over your Superman's. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna go our lateral lunges now, okay? So we're ready. I'm gonna speak together, step to say. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten, good. Okay, into your Spider-Man plank or hold your plank. So down again onto yep. the ground. Oh, sorry, you're right, Josh. My fault. So arms, I say arm balls first. Ready and go. So one, two, three, four, five. Good. All the same. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Into your Spider-Man plank now. So if you haven't, let's see. Can you try it this time? Give it a go. See how many you can do. Even if you do one or two, it's super. Ready and go. So one. Keep it go, Jesse. You can try it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Okay. Last one. Knee to elbow. And let's put on another ten this time. So we're going to go for 30. Let's see if we get a jump or else we can just step. Ready? And we're ready. Start to go, Josh. We'll go. That's your warm up done. Ready? And go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Well done. Super. Good. So, how's that? Alright? Okay, so. Maybe not as intense as the last few days, but we still got a lot of work done there, guys. So well done. We are now going to go into our um, guided meditation. So the thing is, with all these exercises and everything, we're going to be posting them up on our Facebook page, on our Instagram, and on our YouTube. So you can go back over and do them. We're also posting up a load of games as well that you can do. So Josh is just setting himself up now for the guided meditation all right and I'm gonna get our little breathing apparatus here apparatus. Uh -huh. gonna put Josh on too with his little blanket so he's ready hey so wherever you are now you can take your time you can get yourself settled I'm gonna work a little bit on our guided meditation and what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna work and uh, concentrate on kindness. So who can we be kind to? Um, kindness is something that we can just offer to anybody, all right, and be more aware. Basically, as adults and as children, as everybody, now is a brilliant time to start being kind to everybody. So before we get in, let's work on our breathing first. So again, we're bringing out a little breathing helper. So our core kids breathing helper. So what we're going to do is as you breathe in through the nose, your belly expands. Breathe out through the mouth, belly comes in. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And in through the nose this time. As you breathe out through the mouth, just gently close your eyes. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you're lying there, and keep breathing, I want you to think of somebody. Somebody that you want to send some kindness to. Okay. thinking of that person think of something they really enjoy what makes them happy just keep breathing 
Now I want you to think about giving that person that gift or that idea or whatever you were thinking that makes them happy. You're actually physically going to to give it to them, present it to them. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now as you give them this idea, uh, this gift, just look at their face. Notice how they're reacting, how they're feeling. Are they surprised? They're really happy. And keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And with that person still in your mind and receive the gift and how they're feeling, just notice how that makes you feel. And slowly, now I want you to just be more aware of your own body where I feel that feeling of touch to the floor to where your, your body's feeling sense of touch sense of sound and smell and just whenever you're ready just gently opening your eyes Now in your own time as well, you can sit up. If you feel like you want to lie and rest there, that's perfect. Take a little moment to yourself and just chill, take your time. And, and that was very good. So well done, Josh. How'd you find that? Fine. Fine, yeah? <laughs> that's good. Well done. Good work. Tired now? Mm -hmm. Super. <laughs> So we're just going to finish off now and just going to show you now um, our certificate and our core case checklist. So uh, these guys are available online. So oh, here they are here. So for everybody, these are what we give out to the kids most of the time. I'll show us on Instagram here first. So if you can see there's 10 points here and here too on Facebook, you can see there's 10 points. So we can email these to these guys these are just a wee daily checklist so it's things like make your bed tell somebody that you love them something you're grateful for read for five minutes and a great way for the kids to to keep routine especially at this time the other thing as well too you will get whenever you join our mailing list is we will send this out to you you can print it off you can give it to your star of the day um whoever's in your house you thought could deserve it to think josh is off there playing football already so yes guys, that is us. That is another session done for today. Um, we will be back tomorrow. We will be covering as much of the P curriculum as we can in terms of fundamental movements, physical activity. We're be obviously our own program in terms of strength development and how we can combine all of that with motor skill development. So I'm going to leave you now guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I just get outside enjoy the sunshine keep your social social distancing apart uh wash your hands and just be awesome just go and be positive spread love give everything that you can all right guys so i'm off now to play a bit of football here so catch up with you soon thanks bye Oh, I'm the next leg, no?